Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. Today we are gonna be talking about my final review and thoughts on Teaching Textbooks 3.0. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, I am a homeschooling mom of four and we tried a new math curriculum this year. So I'm gonna run you guys through it and let you know my thoughts on it, how it worked for my kids, kind of giving you um, like my favorite things about it and then let you know if we plan to use it again um, at the end of the video for our upcoming school year because if you've seen on my or actually I think this video is gonna go up first so following this video you guys will see my kids grade level curriculum videos I always do those for you guys and you guys usually really like them and so math is obviously a part of their homeschool curriculum so I wanted to get up my final review on this curriculum the 3.0 was a new thing that they were offering this year and we gave it a try so I wanted to of course give you guys my honest feedback um, on that and thank Teaching Textbooks for sponsoring today's video. Um, so we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna let you know what I liked about it and why and uh, then let you know if we plan to use it at the end of the video for the upcoming school year. So like I said, Teaching Textbooks 3.0 was a new version of teaching textbooks. They used to have books and CDs that would go out um, in the mail to you and then um, you would have like the physical book and then you'd place the CD in your computer and you would use it this way. Teaching textbooks 3.0, everything is online and your grades and your all the materials, they don't, you don't get mailed anything. So you watch the lectures, then you do the problems, your grades, quizzes, all that is stored on the website. Now it's really awesome for having multiple kids because you can view um, your kids' grades um, each child and they're all in the same place and at the end of this video I will include some actual screen clips if you're interested in seeing what it actually looks like but I just wanted to explain what teaching textbooks 3.0 is for anybody who may not be familiar with it so I gave it a shot for um, three of my kids this year, um, my third grader, my fifth grader, and my sixth grader. Now my third grader, it just was not a good fit for because he is extremely advanced in math. And he was going to be in a very, very high number level for his grade. And then um, basically like pass up, um, there just wouldn't be enough levels for him basically. So it just wasn't a good fit for him, but it was not because of anything was wrong with the curriculum. It just was with his personal abilities in math. So my two kids that used it this school year, this home school year, were in fifth and sixth grade. And so one of them was doing math seven and the other one was doing pre-algebra. Now, I get asked a lot about how, like, how do you teach math in the higher levels? Well, one of my favorite things about teaching textbooks 3.0 is that I do not have to remember how to teach every mathematical concept. Like, it's been a while since I've done fractions to decimals. Like, these are just things that I don't do on a regular basis. So I love that the lessons have a video lecture that I can watch with my kids that kind of jogs my memory and I'm like, oh yeah, that's how we do it. And then I'm able to help them if they need help. So that is my number one favorite thing about teaching textbooks 3.0 is that there's no instructor's guide that I have to like read through and comb through and make sure that I understand the math to be able to then relay it to my children correctly. What I can do is sit down side by side with them, watch the lecture with them, and then the concept comes back to me because obviously I've done sixth grade math before, but it's just been a while. And I'm not above saying I don't remember everything I learned in sixth grade. So this has been so helpful to us 
to have that lecture. It's like a teacher. Um, it's not like a person on the screen, it's a voice, and then you watch the problems be worked out. Uh, but it's been, that has been the number one most helpful thing is that I feel like this math program is great in the younger years, but even better for those higher level math ideas that are just hard to teach and explain. So huge, huge, huge pro and like like I said, the number one thing we loved about it was that. Um, the next thing is that we really enjoyed that there are only 21 math problems each day um, for the levels that they were in with five practice problems. So um, it's not like the hundreds of math problems. And my kids liked that, so that was a huge benefit to the program that we saw. So I wanted to mention that. I do have notes right down here if I'm looking down. The third thing that I really loved about this math program was that they use real life applications for word problems and not way outdated ones. I mean, they were talking about calculating interest on loans and that led to a whole conversation about what loans even are. And that led to the whole thing of, well, why would somebody want to pay interest? And it was just so great. Um, there were some word problems that had like stocks. And so we kind of talked about the stock market. And I feel like the problems that they give the kids, um, the word problems are extremely relevant and current and so we I really liked that a lot um the fourth thing that we loved about this curriculum was the ability for my kids to be able to redo problems now you guys will see this at the end of the video but as the parent you can go in and you can edit the problems so say your child gets a grade that they're not feeling too happy about and then they want to attempt it again why not? Why not let them work out the problem the correct way and learn how to do it? So I was able to go in, delete the ones that they got wrong, let them work them out again, and then they would see their grade improve and they would feel very happy and satisfied with that. So that was a huge benefit um, to using Teaching Textbooks 3.0 as well. Um, Another thing that was really helpful for my kids was the little hint that they give. Um, you can turn those off if you don't want your kids to have the hint, but um, we really liked having the hints because sometimes they just forget and then it jogs their memory and they're like, oh yeah, that's how you do it. And they don't need you to explain the whole entire thing again. Um, they just needed a little reminder. And so that's what those hints are for and we found them to be really, really helpful. Um, and prevent a lot of frustration that math can sometimes produce. Um, another thing that was huge, in my opinion, I had like a light bulb moment about this, was learning how to take notes. Now, if any of you guys out there went to public school yourself, you know that from sixth grade through college, in math class, your primary way of learning math is to be note taking as the teacher is instructing or the professor. And that was something that I had completely forgotten when it came to math with my sixth grader who was going into seventh grade. She had, because she's been homeschooled, she's never had to learn how to take notes. And so this year, I realized that and I thought to myself, wow, she needs to learn how to take notes. So as she would watch the lecture, I would have her sit with her notebook and I would have her write down any pertinent information that she felt was gonna be helpful to her and even sometimes copy down the practice problem. And you guys, it made a humongous impact on her ability to work out these problems and remember them. It was really, really, really helpful for her. So if you've got a middle schooler who is struggling with math, I highly recommend trying this and having them take notes. They have to learn that skill if they plan to go to college. And I feel like that was something I forgot as a homeschooling mom was that she needed to learn how to take notes. I mean, you have to learn you're not just gonna be able to hear something one time and know how to do it. And that was always her interpretation. So working through that really helped her math a lot. And you know, teaching textbooks 3.0, you know, was 
allowed that to happen. So I'm thankful for that. So that was a huge thing that we loved about it as well was her learning how to take notes in math. And then they have a notebook and they can save the notebook. So when the problem comes back, they can be, oh, I took notes on that and it, they remember it better. So that was a huge thing that was helpful. And the last thing that was incredibly helpful was the auto grading. I did not have to go through and rework all their math problems. They automatically grade it for me. And as a homeschooling mom of four, I can't tell you how helpful that was. Sometimes at the end of uh, a school week, when I was using different math curriculum for all four of them, I was having to spend, I don't know, an hour, two hours, looking over their math problems, making sure they were correct, especially as your kids get older. It's not as simple as glancing at the page and seeing two plus one and knowing that it's three. I mean, sometimes it's like, okay, wait, what are we doing here? And, um, and it was time consuming. So the fact that it auto grades is two big thumbs up for this homeschooling mom. So like I said, um, I was gonna let you guys know if we are gonna be using it again, and we are going to be using Teaching Textbooks 3.0 again next year for my daughter in seventh grade and my son in sixth grade. He will move on to pre-algebra and she will move on to, uh, I believe, Algebra 1 um, after pre-algebra. So um, I think that that's the next one if I'm wrong it'll be whatever level is after that um, but we've loved it it's been great it's been amazing for all the reasons that I listed so if you're on the fence about trying teaching textbooks 3.0 you guys can try it for free with a free trial down below click that link give it a shot your kids will love it and you will love it too I promise you especially if you're like me and you're starting to homeschool some older grade kids it really is beneficial and the kids have a lot of fun with it being an online program um, I got a lot of questions at the beginning of the year well do you think they still need to like work out math problems to they still work out math problems. It's not all mental math. They have to have a notebook or a dry erase board to do them. Um, but we've loved it and we will be using it next year. So when you guys see my curriculum videos, uh, you won't see math in my older two kids videos because it is electronic and I don't have a physical copy of it. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know about that. Now I'm going to show you the clips from inside so you can get a better idea of some of the things I talked about. I'm gonna show you guys where the grades are and things like that. But we will be using Teaching Textbooks 3.0 again for math for my older two kids and I am really excited about it. So here you can see the grade book that I mentioned. All of my son's grades are recorded for all of the lessons he's done on an auto grading system. So I didn't have to go back and do any extra work and that is just a really nice feature. Next, you're gonna see how you can access these things by the number of attempts they use to solve a problem, if they viewed the hint or the solution to see how to work it out. Those are also really great features. Right here, I'm showing you guys how you can see what lesson you're on. You simply click on it and then the lesson and the lecture pulls up for whatever your kids are assigned to do that day. So here I am opening the parent home screen. This is what you access when you look at everything and you are able to do so many different things from your parent home page, which of course is password protected so your kids are not able to access any of this area without you knowing. So it's very convenient to be able to log in and check on the progress of all of your kids work. This is also where you're able to edit their grades on lessons or quizzes if you want them to rework the problems. You click on the lesson it brings up all of the problems it shows you which ones were incorrect and you can either delete or change it depending on what you want to do that day and that was another thing that I mentioned in this video as being a great tool for us um, this year using teaching textbooks 3.0 
that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed hearing what we loved about Teaching Textbooks 3.0, and I hope you enjoyed a little look at the site for yourself. Um, like I said, the link will be down below. You can try it for free, no obligation um, to give it a try if you wanna see you know, if your kids enjoy it or if you like it, um, that link is down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing by clicking that red button. I would love to have you here for our upcoming homeschool year. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.